All right, so here is the DIY toy train and stop sign. I've got some dough here that I've had in the fridge for a little while now, so it's kind of brown, but that's just because sometimes air gets to it and it uh, gets brown, oxidizes. So, let's see. I really like this gift because, and that's what it is, it's a gift, because it's a toy, and toys are great, and um, trains are like very uh, classic things that little boys like. So that's what I'm making here, I'm making a toy train. In the end, the wheels will not roll in this one, but there is a way you can do that, I just didn't do that on this one, but I do have wheels on it, and they, they're just glued on. So we're making the dough into the body first of all and you've got to get it rolled out into like a cylinder shape but since this dough is a little bit wet it looks like I'll be needing some flour to work the dough into a shape. So you can get out any type of dough flour here and it just shouldn't be mixed with anything else and <clears throat> put some on your hands and dry out the fla the dough so you'll need to maybe add enough flour to make that happen you may need to add some or just you know put some in your hands and I'm making like a cylinder here so it's going to be I don't know about three or four inches long and then just like a snake you know and once you press it into the pan, you can press the sides down a little bit so that the sides are flat and the top and bottom can be a little bit round. That's fine. It doesn't have to be perfectly square. And uh, not, all, not all trains are. So that's that. And then the second part of this is getting the front to get that like grill that protrudes like a triangle. This part takes a little while. The easiest way to do it is to put the dough on the front of the body there and just play with the shape. So I'm playing with the shape here on the uh, table first, but for me it's been difficult to get the shape just the way I want it before putting it on the train. So I think I'm going to get some water here. So I'll get a dish with some water and the part that I want to add to stick to the train front, I'm going to dip in water and then put the two pieces together and shape it from there. So as you can see, this is pretty much the shape that I want, but somehow it just just wasn't working quite right. So if you can figure that out, that out more power to you, but um, I've got to do it the other way. That's the only way I can do it. So um, visually that worked for me, getting the water, so you can try that. And then um, just have some more flour on hand also after you dip the dough in the water. It's going to be wet. So that's where I want to add the dough. So to stick it together, you wet it and put it together. Play with the shape until it's where you want it. And um, I've got, you know, it's that slanted front that, that I wanted. So... There we go, it's looking a little better. I'm going to uh, smush the sides together a little bit just by rubbing them. Just to make sure it's sticking together nicely. And you can add some flour to the seams there if you need to. So it's not too sticky. And that's pretty much how you stick two pieces of dough together. Now I'm using salt dough, which other projects have information on how to make that. The uh, DIY Minecraft has it at the beginning and at the end of the jewelry holder there is also instructions on how to make salt dough. Um, it's really, really, really easy and it's a 2 to 1 ratio of salt to dough and then you add water. So. Now I'm going to add that little smokestack that every train has 
and I'm just making another cylinder. It's kind of squat. It's going to go on top just behind where the uh, the grill is there that we just made. So you can dip that, put it on top. So it feels secure enough there. There. So we've got the basic shape of the toy train already. Isn't that great? And so now we're going to make the stop sign. And uh, it's going to be two quarters, uh, quarters basically, you're going to make out of the dough, and then a stick out of the dough. So, two flat quarters and a stick. One of the quarters is going to be made into the base, and the other quarter is going to be made to you know, be the stop sign, the part that's the sign part. It goes on top of the stick. Um, you don't need much dough for this, and you can pretty much just work it with your fingers. There you go, you got a quarter. And, uh, Put it in a little baking dish. Here's going to be my stick that the uh, stop sign is going on. Made mine about two and a half inches long, I think, maybe three. And here can be the next quarter for the sign. And I'm just getting the right consistency here, flattening it out. And we're going to want to stick those together now. So you can just put the little bit of the top of the stick on the sign, smush it together, flip it over, make sure it's sticking. Uh, if you need to, you can add a little bit of moisture. You may not need to. The seams may be sticking together well enough. And I'm flattening the stick a little bit, and there we go, we're going to bake it. So this part, the sign and the base there, they need to be baked for about an hour or two at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And they probably won't stick in this dish because it does have enamel on it, but I'd be careful if I was using a non-grease pan. And the uh, other dish needs to be in the oven for at least six hours. So the train has to be in there for six hours and um, you can take it out after one hour and use a spatula so it doesn't stick for the rest of the time and that is it. So there's your first part. Uh, thanks for watching guys and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and you'll see more videos. Bye!